Greetings, Washington. Today is the 100th day of Russia's full-scale war against us, against Ukraine. I want to tell you a story so that you understand what this war means to us. I want to tell you about Svetlana Klimenko, a nurse at a hospital in the town of Ivankiv, near our capital. On February 24, the first day of Russian invasion, Svetlana lost her husband. He worked as a paramedic and went out on a call in the area where Russian troops tried to advance on Kyiv. Since then, the first day of the war, he has been regarded as missing. The war also took, took away Svetlana's other closest person, her son. He perished in Mariupol. Svetlana spent over a month under occupation until her town Ivankiv was liberated from Russian occupiers. Despite the pain of loss, she didn't give up. She was doing her job, just her job. Throughout the occupation, she worked at Vankiv Hospital and helped to save people. When I met her recently, she told me that it had been this work that had helped her make it through this. Saving others became her own life's purpose. Svetlana continues working to this day, like thousands of doctors and nurses who have been rescuing people since February 24. Children, women and the elderly. Because Russia doesn't spare anyone. We must do everything we can to support them so that they have something and somewhere to treat patients and where to treat them, as well as armored ambulances safe from Russian troops who are shooting them. The Russian army is ruthless. They are not only trying to kill as many people as possible, but also to destroy all the infrastructure required for living. Bridges and roads, houses and hospitals, schools and factories, burned out cities, universities and maternity hospitals destroyed by missiles. Ruins are all that is left behind by the Russians. But people, people need to have somewhere to return. Right now, today. That is the reason I initiated the special United24 platform. It's not just fundraising. It's also one of the ways to prove to Russia that evil will not win. Thousands of wounded need help. Thousands of objects need to be restored. Ladies and gentlemen, you can join in. How is entirely up to you. Rebuild the bridge to European, whose photos have attracted worldwide attention or buy medical equipment that will help Svetlana Klemenka and her colleagues save many, many lives. Your help will be transferred fast and used as effectively and transparently as possible. We guarantee that thanks to these donations, your names will forever go down in the history of Ukraine, the history of defending freedom and democracy. Please join United24 today. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Glory to Ukraine.